If you cancel your whole life insurance policy and there's cash value in it, you get all of the cash back. There's something called a surrender value and that surrender value is the dollar amount that you will get back. Now, a few things to consider when you actually cancel your policy. If you have any growth on your policy above your basis, which essentially means anything above what you've contributed. So if let's say I put in hundred grand, but my policy grew to 150 grand, that means there's a $50,000 of growth. That $50,000 growth, you will have to pay taxes on. And when we use life insurance and it's set up in the proper way, we have the ability to access our cash tax-free and have the death benefit be passed down tax-free as well. So canceling your policy is really not very beneficial when we're wanting to use it for tax advantages and have our dollars grow for us. You're better off taking the loan and borrowing against your policy for the same amount that you would essentially had the policy surrender for. Because the following year, your policy is still going to compound, which would have gave you more access to more money in the future. And on top of that, by canceling it, you do have the potential to having a tax bill along the way. Now, this can happen if you don't choose to cancel it, but if the insurance company cancels your policy, which essentially means that the policy lapses. Now, the policy can lapse if the loan balance and loan interest is higher than the cash value that you have available. So let's just say you had $100,000 of cash value, but your loan interest was 110,000. You're essentially underwater 10 grand. The insurance company, if you do not pay the loan down, will cancel your policy. And if this happens and you have a $110,000 loan outstanding, and let's say you've contributed 100 grand, you will have to pay pay taxes on that $10,000 difference. These numbers aren't super practical, just giving you an idea of how it works in theory. 